2023. Reject Tunembu's campaign's DG position. Christian leader Dana Kazai wants Lalong. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Former National President of the Youth Wing of the Christian Association of Nigeria, YOWICAN, and the co chairman of the Interfaith Coalition Conference, Engineer Daniel Kazai, told Governor Simon Lelong of Plateau State that accepting the position of a Director General of the Bola Tirembu Shetima Campaign Council will constitute a betrayal of his Christian faith. The All Progressive Congress EPC and its presidential candidate, Tirembu, presented Lelong as the Director General of the Tirembu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council on Thursday in Abuja. Speaking of the Daily Post over the weekend, Kazai questioned why Lelong would degrade himself by accepting the position to campaign for a party and a presidential candidate that deemed him incompetent to serve as running mate and instead went for a ticket of the same fate. According to former Christian youth leader, if Lelong took the position, he would not be permitted to campaign in churches or meet with Christian stakeholders. In addition, the Christian leader from Adama Press, the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, for naming the Northern Christian barrister Daniel Bola as the spokesman of his campaign organization and another Christian, Dino Balaye, as the spokesman. When a political party promotes candidates of the same faith in order to win election, you should know that this party is attempting to split the nation. And in a fragile country like Nigeria, where truth has long since disappeared, where do we go from here? We are discussing agitations here and there, and you're flying on a Muslim to Muslim flight. We have condemned this, and we are ecstatic that our Christian brothers, in solidarity with their APs, with their fellow Christians, have abandoned the All Progressive Congress over the Muslim Muslim ticket. We are requesting that more Christians leave the party. Leave the party and seek an alternate option. He should sit up straight if they cannot find him capable enough to be the vice president for whom we have advocated and called for. He has no place as Tudembu's campaign director general. Monkeys work, baboon is. Monkey they work, baboon they chop. We will hear the campaign on their behalf to get our votes. We will convey this message to Lalong. In the interest of his faith, he should decline and let them find a lawyer not to to serve as their campaign director general. Not Lalong, as we will not permit him to meet with any of our leaders. We will not allow Lalong to campaign near our churches since they have marginalized us for so long. They have informed the entire world that we love competent individuals. If you do not have qualified individuals to serve as your vices, you cannot trust our staff. Therefore, do not impose such an obligation on our people. Even if Lalong decides to accept the DG position, we will continue to search for a placement. We applaud Atiku Abubakar for appointing Dino Malaye, a Northern Christian, and a Christian from the South as his campaign spokesperson. It is hypocrisy, permit me to say this, it is hypocrisy to come out and say the Muslim Muslim ticket, I'm going to remember this, is actually wrong, but you hail Atiku, who is a northerner, that is coming out to contest when we have a northerner, a northern Muslim for that matter, on the seat. To me it is hypocrisy. That is why I keep saying PDP is APC glorified and APC is also PDP. There is no two ways about this. Igbo generation with their stupidity, useless, senseless, and miserable tribe, I hate them with passion. Oh, now you make all of us go get for this Nigeria until we go learn how to live with each other. I'm so sorry to say this. This is what will happen. Nigeria cannot be made better by one single region. I have said it one time without number. Whether you hate them or whether I love them or they think be safe. We all need each other. We are interdependent. No one of us is going to remain on island. There is no one of us. It cannot be possible. Without the Igbos, there will be nothing like development in Nigeria. There will be nothing like Nigeria itself. Lagos, Abuja, Kano. 
We are developed by Igbos, but know you about how someone has an investment in Igbo land. So you see that you're suffering from ignorance. Go and develop your own land if it is convenient for you. Stop developing Yoruba and Hausa state. Hmm. All right. What does hatred go to change about the reality of God's blessing on these special people? Hmm. I'm sure you're not an Igbo but an impost. Okay. Okay. Uh, but an impostor and a vampire that wants to cause division and disagreement between Igbos and another tribe. I don't think you are all right. Too. He's actually saying, he's actually coming out to speak for <laughs> some people the verse, so they don't read, read well. You're an enemy of Nigeria. Your hatred of the evils will only take you backwards. You can never be better than whoever you hate. Repent and ensure peace and love for another or go back to hell or more. These people don't start. All right. Just imagine this man. <laughs> that that's, um, comment is so savagery. You and this your statement. You, how can you say you hate God's creation with passion? I am Yoruba. Yorubas do not hate other tribes. They are loving and accommodating. Don't behave like a bastard Yoruba man. You cannot create any human being and you cannot live life alone. Exactly. No man can. No one, no man is an island. We all need each other. The writer has said his opinion. You can say your own with no hatred. People like you may not allow unity in this country, which is the source of all the evils that you have been experiencing. Change, or more. There'll be some more advice than give her more. Well, whether we like it or not, like I said, it's none of us can, no region can come and say, uh, this is, this is it. You know, we can change Nigeria. No region can do that. No region at all. So at the end of the day, we are stuck together. The earlier we know this, we realize this, the better for all of us. All right. Like it or leave it, majority of Christians will vote for Tinubu. He is not president by the gross by the by God's grace. The man in question was not speaking for the entire Christian. Of course, I know he was not speaking for the entire Christian. Lalan is a lady that is good of being only a girlfriend but not fit to be a wife. Leave a PC. They have insulted your personality. I think this might is right somehow. So it's only DG we Christians are good at. We cannot be vice president. All right. Okay, at this point, two Christians should stand. And you should say no to a Muslim Muslim ticket. Well, I've said that before. You can, whether you stand or sit at the end of the day, all you need to do is to come out with a PVC on that day and come and vote your truth. All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.